Alicia here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I take my natural curls from dry and brittle to voluminous, moisturized, and defined. I'm starting with taking my hair out of a ponytail. It's beginning cold in New York City, so I honestly haven't been doing anything except keeping my hair in these ponytails, which also makes my hair super dry and brittle. I'm starting this routine by saturating my hair with some water to add moisture back into my hair. You can see how something as simple as water has added some life back into my hair. I just rake the water through my hair and do a little bit of finger detangling. I'll be shampooing my hair with the Kinky Curly Complete Natural Moisturizing Shampoo. This shampoo has ingredients such as organic marshmallow, aloe vera, water, and some amazing other ingredients that helps to really moisturize and clarify your hair. I scrub myself with my hands, but I also go with my shampoo comb to really cleanse my scalp of whatever product buildup I have on it. Then I rinse my hair. I usually shampoo my hair twice, but since my hair was super dry and brittle, I'm only shampooing it once. I'll be conditioning and detangling my hair with the Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. This detangler has amazing ingredients such as mango fruit, slippery elm, and also lemongrass that work together to really moisturize your hair as well as detangle. I'm dividing my hair into smaller sections so I can go in my detangling brush to detangle my hair thoroughly and also finger detangle my hair as well. one section of my hair, I twist that section away and move on to the other section of my hair and repeat the same steps by detangling with my brush and then finger detangling as well. This product can be used as both a rinse out conditioner as well as a leave-in conditioner and I'm going to use it as a leave-in conditioner. I'm basically going to rinse out any excess product because I did use a lot of product to detangle my hair but I'm going to leave the bulk of it in my hair. So I'm just sort of rinsing my hair underwater and squeezing out some product but leaving most of it in. much hair I lost after keeping it in a dry ponytail for a long period of time. Now I'm just dividing my hair into four sections to make this styling process a bit easier. Since I'm using a mousse to style my hair, it's better to use a mousse with damp hair as opposed to soaking wet hair. So I'm just putting a towel on my hair for a few minutes to take out any excess moisture so that my hair isn't soaking wet. After my hair has dried and dampened a bit, I'm going to go in with the Kinky Curly Seriously Smooth Fast Dry Foam. This foam has ingredients such as aloe vera gel, agave nectar, as well as some other amazing ingredients that really help to you know, detangle each section and act as a quick styler. And if you're wondering what happened to my nail, I fell down the subway stairs. For each section of my hair, I'm going to add the mousse to that entire section. Then I'm going to go in and divide that section into smaller sections and add more mousse throughout that smaller section and continue to divide that section into smaller sections, adding more mousse until that entire section of my hair has been styled with the mousse defining um, styler.
So here you can see how my hair looks with the mousse versus without the mousse. As I move on to each section of my hair, I'll be repeating the exact same steps. So I'm adding the mousse to the entire section of my hair and then I'm dividing each section into smaller sections, adding more mousse, dividing another section out, adding more mousse to that section and continuing to rake the mousse throughout that section until the mousse foam has styled that entire section of hair. is looking after being styled with the mousse. Now I'm moving on to the front section of my hair where I'm basically once again repeating those exact same steps by adding the mousse into small sections throughout that one section of my hair. with the mousse versus without the mousse. The mousse just adds a lot more definition, volume, and moisture to my hair as opposed to without the mousse where it just sort of looks pretty dull. The reason I like styling my hair with mousse is that mousse adds instant volume to your hair. When you use a gel, your hair gets a bit hard and stiff, whereas with mousse, it's just automatically a bit foamy, a lot more airy, instantly moisturized, and mousse also dries pretty quickly so you don't have to walk around with dripping hair. You can see how quickly the other section of my hair has already dried. Look at the shrinkage in the dry section as opposed to how the section looks that's wet with mousse. Now I'm just going in with my parting comb to make sure my middle part is straight. I'm also adding some mousse to my edges to moisturize my edges a bit and also lay them down since I don't know how to style my edges with gel or anything. This is how my hair is looking after applying the mousse. It isn't fully dried yet. I'm going to come back on the camera in a little bit to show you how my hair looks dry. But this is how it's looking as of now. This was the length of my hair about a year ago, so I'm really proud of how far it's come. This is my hair after drying. As you can see, it's been instantly transformed into voluminous, moisturized, and defined, which is why I like using the mousse because it works right away. But thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!